a conference really is taking time and space out particularly for teachers and maths leaders in schools to understand more fully the curriculum content. One of the issues that's holding mathematics achievement back is the ability for young people to solve problems with inside the maths examinations but also with inside the maths curriculum. So we want to ensure that teachers understand the importance of problem solving in mathematics and also understand how they can develop their skills and the young people's skills to be able to solve problems in mathematics. Well, I'm hoping that teachers will go away and think about how we might need to develop lessons that are, are different to the lessons that we have at the moment and have to rethink some of the ways we structure lessons and some of the tasks we ask students to do and how we support them to become better at problem solving. For the teachers who attend the event today, it's all about awareness. It's about understanding what is possible and really helping them think differently so they can infuse that different thinking in their students. And they're not alone. That Societally and commercially, we need, we need to solve this problem around continuous learning and education. We are very obsessed with testing maths and passing exams and so on. And actually, I think in the real world, problem solving often involves maths, but not in the form that is posed, posed in exams. And I think just stepping back and saying, how can we get into the classroom the kind of problem solving skills that are actually the ones that adults use rather than those very narrow ones that you use in order to get a grade A. Finding a way of matching what's in the curriculum, the hoops you have to get through with real world relevance, which I think is what teenagers enjoy as well. They like to see why it matters. Problem solving is at the heart of mathematics. It is absolutely central to maths but it is a place that students struggle with and teachers struggle with and I don't think it's something that can be overcome easily, I don't think it's something that can overcome quickly, I don't think there's a magic solution but it's something that has to be considered and thought about it and have the children exposed to over and over and over again so that we can all improve. We now live in a world where everything is accessible and what we find is we need to move away from a knowledge based curriculum to a skills based curriculum where any child can get the information online but that they have to know what to do with that information and that's the key and if we are going to enable our kids to be the innovators of tomorrow then that's what we need to work on. We need to actually allow them to problem solve and create answers to the things that they will face in 10 years time that we don't face today. Collaboration is really important for professional development. Over and over again we see secondary teachers in particular working in isolation. It's very important for their own professional development, for others' professional development to learn from one another and to come together and to talk about things and reflect on things and move forwards as a result. And that's why I think conferences like this are really, really important. We need to now expose our kids to a lot more real life relevant examples of how they can actually problem solve in the real world. And for me, this conference is a way of inspiring all of us to go out there and do that and do the best that we can do. 